So first let's talk about the Joe Davies invite in Golden last week. We get six, uh, six individuals uh, uh, qualify for the, the national meet. Let's talk about the DMR team that on Friday night came through and did really well for you. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think we dropped 12 seconds off of the previous time we had run with the same group of guys. And I kind of expected that that was going to happen. I actually thought we were going to run about two seconds faster, which would have solidified us on the national list to, to go to the national meet. Uh, so we still got to improve just a little bit on that. But those guys, man, they ran a fantastic race. So big improvements kind of overall throughout all the guys there. So uh, that's looking great. And a couple of other uh, qualifiers that um, we think will hold up. But with the conference championships coming up, you just kind of never know uh, what's going to happen there too. So some of the other ones, uh, Nick Hadlick, who's done really well for you this year, Brianna Hemming, uh, Warburton, and Boucher, uh, those guys did really well in the 800 as well. Yeah, so uh, Kedlec, he's uh, he's been running pretty consistently about that that same 3K time. Uh, again, kind of same thing on his, his end. We wanted him to run slightly faster, but he competed very, very well, um, which is a good sign going into the conference championships. Uh, uh, let me ask you this before you go to the next person, sure. but like you're out there, I have video of you, you know, you screaming him as, as he goes by. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the things you're telling him in a race where, you, where he's trying to uh, qualify? Uh, what are some of the things you're yelling at him? So, um, you know, each individual is a little bit different. Uh, with him, uh, we started out with sort of a conservative race plan to, to begin with, um, trying to hit a certain split um, as we we're moving through the race. And then in the last third of the race is when we really, really wanted to make a big move. Um, and that he seems to thrive better off that he's not a get out real aggressively and, and try to push the pace by himself kind of guy um, the other thing that kind of helped is uh, Kirk Harvey was there uh, you know former All-American graduate at, from Metro State and so um, he was out, out helping out in front with the pacing duties a little bit um, and that made it feel a little bit more comfortable for uh, Brandon Kragi and, and uh, Kedlex one of the freshmen I thought did really well was Morgan Myers in the 200 and 400. As a freshman, how, how has her season kind of gone along for her? It's gone great. Um, so she's a, she's a freshman from, from Horizon High School. Um, she's actually um, the age of a sophomore. Okay. Um, she didn't run at all last year, kind of took a year off, did some community college stuff. Um, but she, her potential is still pretty high. We think next year she's going to hit an even bigger jump in her performances. We've had her run in the 400, we've had her run in the 8, we've had her 4x4, four four, 200 meters, kind of a little bit of everything. Um, took a nice uh, dip down in time this weekend on the 400. Um, we think that'll drop again this weekend. We're loading her up on a lot of events for the conference championships. But yeah, she's been great. She does everything you ask of her. She works extremely hard. Um, the whole team loves her. She, she gets along with everybody. So it's awesome having her around. Yeah. To the team, I mean, with the RMAC championships one week away, do you, I mean, you're still out just trying to hit qualifying times. Is there like hold back a little bit? Don't wear yourself out with one week left to go before the big dance. Well, what are some of the things you're telling about that? Yeah, a lot of the stuff we were trying to accomplish this weekend was just sharpening, um, sharpening race tactics, maybe dropping a few people's times to get a little bit lower in the national list um, but just really we emphasize the same thing every meet is this is preparation for championship season championship season for our sport is the most important a lot of the meets in between are just to prepare us for that when we go into the championships we actually set out a score sheet and we uh, we give everybody it's you know a, a number to shoot for this is our team goal for the score we want to have um, and we, we kind of let everybody know that. And it gets exciting. Everybody kind of wants to prove us wrong. Hey, I can score more than one point, you know, and, and jump into that. So that's always been our emphasis. So what are your thoughts? I mean, it's in a couple days, Friday, Saturday, up in Gunnison. What are some of your thoughts uh, about your team going into the championship time? Yeah, looking pretty good. Um, you know, uh, it's starting to come around after the long cross-country season with the distance runners are really starting to come into their own now. Um, so hopefully we can score some good points there. We've, we're, we're adding a few points this year that we didn't have. You know, Robert Carlson in the long jump, triple jump, Julian Delaney in the basically every event we're entering him in, which is a lot this weekend. Um, you know, we've got some, some key areas that we're going to be able to score some more points in those 800 boys, um, you know, things like that. So, you know, we're feeling confident. Anytime you go up to, uh, you know, an altitude by a couple thousand feet, you got to be a little bit cautious. So we're, we're taking the, the cautious approach early on in our competitions. And then late stage of the races, we're going to make some big moves and, and hopefully score some, some points. I'm projecting that we're going to score more than we ever have. Coach should always say that, but um, really I, I would try to take a, um, a count of all those scores, and I think that definitely our men are going to score way more than we've ever scored at the conference championships, and our women will be right on that bubble of scoring more than we ever have. It just kind of depends on if things go our way. Um, but, yeah, things are looking good. Um, nice new new track down in Gunnison, so it should be fast. Um, 
And our conference right now, when we've added a couple of teams now with, with Pueblo jumping in and, and Black Hills recently and South Dakota School of Mines, it's very, very competitive, very competitive. Um, there's some events where in order to make the finals, final round, you have to provisionally qualify for nationals. So that's how competitive it is. The long jump, men's 800 meters, um, you know, some of those events are pretty competitive. So we're ready to go.